Oh my god. This is just... We have so many... So much extra damage. We don't even need the double mystic shots. And we got... Oh my god. What, what is their last card? What are they gonna play? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, when this deck goes, it fucking goes. It's a bit better. Why, why am I even talking about this? You're right, I don't know. Um, oh, these are actually pretty good. Mystic Shot's particularly good. I'm not sure how good Elise is right now. They probably have a lot of things that could block Fearsome, but we can do attack first and we got a Teemo. We got double teams. Teaming up the Teemos. That's why he's called a Teemo, because he's on our team. Yeah, that's the kind of thing we're expecting. Like, Elite, the Katoli. Well, I guess it can't block Elise, actually, but we'll probably have to Mystic Shot it regardless. I wonder if we play our second Teemo here. Hmm. I mean, yeah, we're gonna just Mystic Shot the 3 2. I'll do better this, time. this thing can't block at least, so we don't really care. But. Oh, we could level up Teemo here. I mean, we're kinda. gonna kinda have to, I feel like. That's a good card. But I think we just play Elise, see if they have a good blocker for it. And they do not, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, I guess they do. I thought that they were they would stun Elise. Would we trade Elise here? We get a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. We have more card draw than they do, probably. You won't suffer long. I'm okay with this. We come out ahead. They're both two drops. The ours is a champion, but we're still coming out ahead, so I don't really care. This uh, Vile Feast looks really dumb right now. Prankster, really good. Really good. We don't really, like we care about that, but we don't really care about that. Come on, Prankster. No one's the wiser. We will absolutely just kill that right now. We do not want to wait. Is it whenever an ally dies? Got it. Okay, ready. I will absolutely block, uh, well, might as well block with the zero strength one. Can't block this, it has fearsome. Alright. I think we just attack. We can't level up Teemo for this, so it doesn't really matter. Why do we attack with this? Because it's just an extra one point of damage, I guess. I don't know. Gets it on that. Is it a good play? Probably not. You're right. But I don't think it's that bad of a play either. This guy's pretty good right here. If they try to kill Teemo now, we can instant speed, keep it alive. Mm. I'll admit that's pretty good for them. What? Did that do... One damage or two? I feel like it only one. Maybe it was just fast. We're still at 13. Maybe, maybe my math is way off. His math is way off. I'll do better this time. Mm, we definitely block here. Here, here, here. Can't block it as fearsome. Um, I mean, we're only taking three... Five damage? Three, four, five, six. It's pretty bad. We get to kill that. Maybe we should just kill that and this. Because we actually block three. This only blocks two. That can't block though, but we don't really care that much about that. I think this is better. We this only we can only block two with that anyway. So there's not really a point of doing anything there. Other than less we could play this and then kill it, I guess. Kill an ally, draw three, that's okay. Or draw two, sorry. It's already overpowered, but you know what I mean. We do get to keep a guy alive, I guess. Good job on the mushies. We'll pop this. Got the team out. We'll play this, deal three damage to... 
to a unit. I guess we get rid of one of their blockers. Yeah, I'm okay with getting rid of one of their blockers. Dealing three damage to this makes it so we can block it, but if it gets to attack again, we're probably dead anyway. We're trying to do some serious damage here. You're gonna kill Teemo? No, it's gonna draw more cards. Man, that's, does that counter this? I don't know. Discard your hand, then draw three, then deal three damage to an enemy unit. Okay. So it does go off still. That's pretty nice. And we got a really powerful turn. We don't want to play this because we want to play it with, on this. And we can't attack yet. We have to risk Teemo's health here. Two, three, four, five. We don't get to play Boom Crew if we play this, I guess. I think they have two of those. If they have two of those, we have to attack right now. To get Teemo to put 12 puff caps, but is 12 puff caps even better? I don't know. I'm having board space issues. Uh, do that in the opposite order, please. Do that. Then four, then three, then two, then two. And if they kill this stuff, it does damage to their nexus anyway. What do they have? They're not in a great spot. They only have four blockers. They can't block the Teemo with what they have on the board. And if they block this, they take four damage, five damage. So they want to block without killing my things, which is also not good for them. So, Boom Crew might have just been better here than playing the Sacred Cursed Keeper. Or killing something else like, um, maybe even the 3-3 three, three or the 2-2. Two, two. Right, that's just lethal, isn't it? Did I, did I miscount? It's not necessarily lethal, I suppose. They have to take two damage. There's nothing to fear. And kill me. Of Very. <laughs> they have to kill me in one attack if they draw one mushroom. Do we get it? Good game, opponent. Burn down. Mata Niu. I wonder if they're going to add new circle images like the ones when you see when you go into the game, like the little emblems. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I don't know how good Viled Feast is in this matchup. But I'm not going to get rid of any of this. Boom Crew Rookie is two damage to the Nexus and a blocker and potentially more. They get to attack first, but it's okay. We got to play it, though, I think. They, they're probably playing Vile Feast, which is way better against us than it is against them. But we're going to play Boom Crew regardless. We don't want to waste our attack and miss two damage. Just because they probably have a Vile Feast, but... Maybe we could have hold Teemo, but it, they're going to have to use it eventually. And so I'm not... Oh, well, would you look at that? It cannot block, which is actually awesome for us. Time to go. So they're playing full-on ephemeral. Look at that. That was one... That's five, six, seven. That was kind of like dealing nine damage right there. Right? Because it's five, six. If they draw all five mushrooms, but they won't. That's It'd be five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. That's fucking dope. We definitely just Vile Feast that, and I think that's going to be a good game right there, honestly. Unless they have exactly Mark of the Isles, which they might. But it forces them to use it now. Okay, well, they don't. Might just be a good game, bros. That's a pretty devastating early game destruction. We're going to play the other Boom Crew. Of course I'm ready. Press the advantage, bro. Vile Feast. They do have that. You know what? Do it to it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Drain three. Timo's dying anyway, but he's getting some mushrooms in there, bro. Never know what hit him. Do it fucking to it. Oh my god, this is brutal. This is brutal. Oh my god. We're going to save that mana. I'm not even going to play my creature. Holy crap. Okay, they didn't draw any mushrooms. They only have nine in the deck. No, they have ten. I thought they drew one. So. 
We've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We already got lethal. I pull the string. We're at eight right now. We're on five mana. Apart. Uh, skip block. I will draw two cards. Just for shits and gigs. If they want to kill this, I don't need the cards. I already have lethal in hand. Oh my god, as if I needed more. That egg. Oh my god, this is just so gross. Let's just play it. Can we play this and kill an ally? Oh my god. This is just... We have so many... So much extra damage. We don't even need the Mystic Shots. We don't even need the double Mystic Shots. And we got... Oh my god. Oh! Dude, this game is my highlight video. Holy crap. What, what is their last card? What are they gonna play? Okay. Time to go! Holy crap. When this deck goes, it fucking goes. Ooh, is this still Dawn Spiders? I don't know, I keep saying that, but I don't know. Maybe it's all about just using that one card that gives it plus three, plus three, if it's the only thing. I mean, this is all good stuff. No Teemo, but this is really good with this, which is good with this. And our most fan of pranks is one of the main build arounds of our decks. It is a three mana zero three, so it does get removed pretty easy, but it's not that bad. Double fan of pranks is actually disgusting. So we just have to not die, and we just start getting insane damage. I, mean, I won't lie, it's pretty good against us. I can do this. Fearsome is real. Like, Boomku Rookie, as amazing as it is, it's just not good against Fearsome, unfortunately. But it's still a better two drop than that is for sure. Because it gets in for two with. It's kind of the same thing. Um, no matter what we do, we're just attacking with this. Yeah, if Boom Crew Rookie dies here, uh, we're not really missing out on the damage because it would have killed this anyway. Right, we gotta get this out. I think they just attack us for six. It's possible. Pull the strings. It is all fearsome. This could block one thing though, so I think it's worth playing. But we are missing two damage if we play it without that. But I think we have to, just because we have to block it. And we could also um, Mystic Shot one of these, so it's actually really good. You won't suffer long. I will absolutely block this. I will absolutely block this. I will absolutely Mystic Shot this. Why would he Mystic Shot that one instead of the first one? Because I'm dumb. Mystic shot this. We don't need to draw any cards right now. Plus three, plus three. Are you just gonna kill it? Alright, that's fair. Either way, I basically get the same thing that I want. You only get in for three damage. I get in for I guess you get in for five, because we deal two to ourselves. And then these will die at the end of the turn, and they will go down four, and I will go down two. So I should be at 13, they're at 12. So I'm actually ahead. We'll play another one of these. It's playtime. As it's just too good. We're going to play all of our cards before the attack here. We have one of these as a backup also, if we need to kill something in response to the removal. They're at seven, they could vengeance something, but if they vengeance one of our things, I feel like it's almost a GG. That's just, they're losing a whole turn, and they'll have a 3-2 on the board, and they'll just end up losing, I think. Because we have quite a bit, even though we don't have much mana, we can still do a lot with two mana. I and mean, we can play two more cards. A skitter. Dang, alright. I'll play this. Achilles, where are you? Still working with four. Not as much. We know their deck's super aggressive. Maybe it has things like tough, like spells and rally, maybe. It does have rally. We don't even care about that. Got it. Your rally is really weak. Like super weak. 
block. We might as well block. This is potentially gets stronger, but it's not even that big of a deal. So they're at eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Just gonna put this here. Because if they kill one of these, it still does two damage to their nexus, and this already does. This does four damage on its own by getting killed. Time to go. And we have lethal already, if we, uh, as long as we play it carefully. Boom crew is good. We have. Boom crew is good. That's all we need. Double prankster. Let's go. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the plat. So today's deck, um, this is just like a really, really hyper burn deck. Burn, 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 burn. Mm, burn. Feel the burn. Um, so this is basically a list that I took off of the, um, uh, the the meta tracker on Mobilytics because it keeps track. This is not an S tier deck according to them. It's an A tier, but I haven't played um, like really a burn deck before in this game because I've played a, like in Magic. I don't really do the mono red stuff, but it is an archetype that is could be fun to play on ladder really quick because it's really quick games and it didn't really feel like Runeterra had a way to do that because there's not just like deal three damage to Nexus, deal three damage to Nexus or, you know, kind of spells for a reasonable price. Like in Magic, you have two, dam two mana, deal three damage to Nexus, things like that. Um, although I don't know about in standard right now and this game doesn't have that much direct nexus damage in a lot of the cards At least not in like a pure spell focused thing. So it didn't really feel like a thing, but Utilizing follower synergy. It's actually really possible. I was um very impressed with this deck overall the main build around card here You're not gonna be surprised Is a three drop zero three known as phantom prankster when another ally dies deal one damage to the enemy nexus So this card on its own is very very powerful it means a lot of times you're just attacking in, even though your minions are gonna die. Cause sometimes, you know, if you have more attackers and they have blockers, even if all your attackers die, one of them will, you know, the one will get through or whatever they can't block gets through. And then the ones that die will also translate to damage. It's kind of like Vladimir's ultimate, but it also, or, you know, Vladimir's passive in a way, but um, it also deals damage to the minions. It's, it's kind of, I guess, weird, but you know, understand you kind of bypass the block and get in for damage is what it's about. So this card is particularly awesome with used cask salesman. When I'm summoned, summon two caustic casks. So this is a three mana, three, two. Can block fearsome, very important, but it's also a decent attacker. And it summons two zero mana, zero ones, which are fantastic blockers that are ephemeral. Last breath deal one damage to each nexus. So if you have a phantom prankster out, yes, it deals one damage to your nexus, but it deals two damage to their nexus. And this can add up so fast. By playing this card with the Prankster out, you're dealing four damage to their Nexus for three mana and getting a three two attacker or blocker. Uh, it's absolutely nuts. This deck I felt was just destroying control decks. Like things that really want to get to the late game and combo off on you have a really hard time doing this because by clearing your board, they're taking a fuck ton of damage. And a lot of times, you know, we're running Glimpse from Beyond, so. Um, you can sometimes just punish them by refilling your hand anyway. We're playing augmented experimenter So if they clear our board, even if we don't get enough damage to kill them It doesn't really matter because we could refill our hand usually pretty easily um, But even if they clear our board it just destroys them. So this feels like an anti meta deck in a deck with a lot of um, a Deck that like maybe even Elnux, right? They have a lot of blockers sometimes they get just destroy, you know, they get super high rolly, but um, if you can get enough damage early, even if they get a bunch of blockers, you don't, you kind of bypass the blockers, you know, it doesn't matter if they have six, four fives on the field. If you just go straight to their nexus with a lot of your stuff. So it feels super good against control against mid range control E decks. It could be a little bit harder, um, because they just have bigger stats than you and they can tend to pressure you a bit more. And sometimes, um, they get his deal a bit damage a little bit faster than you can, um, so it's not as clean of a matchup, more of a fair matchup, I think, against both aggro and mid-range. But control definitely feels like this is super good. Uh, the only change I made in this list from what you're going to find on Mobilytics is they had two, um, what's that card? Summons three Unleashed Spirits. Um, what's it called? Let me, let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. It's called, it's three mana. And it's Withering. Why can't, why can't I find it? Why, why am I so stupid? You guys probably saw it like six times, but now, now I'm determined. Now I'm going to sit here all fucking night until I find it. It is, it's not three mana. Okay, it's two mana. That's why. Haunted Relic. Summon three Unleashed Spirits, so there are three one ones. So the idea is you play this, you got three one one attackers, 
and then when they die, they'll deal three damage or six damage to the Nexus. So sometimes it's it's a good card for this deck. I switch it out with Fading Memories. It's a zero mana burst spell. Pick a follower, create an ephemeral copy in hand. I just felt like I was getting more value out of, but sometimes getting an additional Boom Crew rookie. When you play it, it gets in for two damage guaranteed, and then it dies. So it kind of still does the damage, but it could bypass the Nexus a bit easier, I think, with its attack. Plus, plus like. Broom Crew Rookie is just also a good blocker sometimes. Um, I, I like to just have an, like, it's good with Cursed Keeper, right? It, you play an Ephemeral Cursed Keeper is really good. It's exceptionally good with a used Cask Salesman. If you can get another trigger of this, you don't care that it's Ephemeral. That might, that could be a positive in this deck. So even though Haunted Relic, I think, is really good in this deck, I personally just liked the flexibility of Fading Memories because I found it to be good in more situations, even if you didn't have the Prankster out. But yeah, I think the deck is pretty self-explanatory. You're going in low with the Teemos, the Boom Crew rookies, and then your top end is your three manas, your zero threes and your three twos just to get in for burn damage, bypassing all their stuff. You got refill for when you run low. But this deck can dish out an insane amount of damage if they don't have a way to deal with the um, pr uh, Prankster. Now, I will say, against some matchups where it is against control, even though it's a good matchup, you have to be careful if you know they have an easy, efficient way to deal with this card. You might want to hold it until you can get actually some value out of it. Um, so you can like, cause sometimes just slamming it on three and you can't do anything until you refill your mana the following turn means that this is just going to get removed by like a get excited or something. So obviously this time this card. Well, um, if you're trying to get through control, this card is your bread and butter for getting through them. Um, not many of your other cards you care about dying, but this is the one you do care about dying. So uh, make sure you try to protect it as best you can and play around obvious plays. Outside of that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the games. Uh, it might be a bit of a shorter video, but it's because this deck is fast. Uh, really good for laddering, I'm sure, if you want to, uh, just because the games will go so fast. So if you can manage to get even to like a 55, 60% win rate, which I think is very doable, especially if you learn to pilot this deck properly, then you guys could be climbing ranks insanely quick. Anyway, I, I don't worry about that that much. I just play for fun. And this deck is super fun to just cheese out some scummy wins every now and then. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the games. See you next time. The platypus is...